What's up guys, it's Eric. I'm out here with the Arma Outcast 6S. Today I'm, I'm gonna be trying uh, some new M2C parts. Um, uh, first of all, this is uh, my Outcast that had the, uh, you know, the Typhon body on it, the hybrid. Um, this thing's just an absolute beast. It's running the uh, Hobby Star uh, motor in it. Um, real quick, just to kind of go over some of the specs. You know, again, it's got the Hobby Star 1730 4092 in it with a max uh, six uh, Hobby Wing ESC uh, Power HD 23 kilogram servo. Um, and also, uh, one of the nice upgrades now uh, for Mitch, uh, you know, this is just in testing still. Um, it's going to take uh, several months to get an actual wear on these, a wear test. And this is a 4140 uh, tool steel drive cups. Um, you know, it, it'll come with all of them. I don't, know if, I don't know if I got this in the camera at all. I mean, these are super nice. It's a black, uh, black oxide finish. Uh, this is a stock one right here. And as you can see, you know, over time, which I have some that look a lot worse than this, but they start to wear in here. And some of them even break, uh, but they just get, you know, just big gouges and stuff wore in, which puts a lot of slop in your, uh, you know, in your drivetrain, stuff like that. So hopefully these uh, M2C ones will wear nice and not, not get gouged out or break. Um, it's a, you know, it's a lot tougher steel. So we'll uh, definitely see, see how it goes. And I'm running the backflip LPs on here. Um, I did, I did go down to, I just put a hundred thousand in the center diff. I had 500 before and this, this truck was just almost out of control. Uh, with was such a short wheelbase and such a powerful uh, a motor. Um, I am running the uh, M2C uh, ZRS uh, shock caps, uh, a bladderless uh, shock system in here. So, um, I mean, this, this is an older truck. It's still got voltage hobbies towers on it and <laughs> stuff like that. So anyway, we're gonna give us a thing a quick rip and uh, see what's up. That was close. Studio after the run, uh, I just thought I'd show you a, a, a closer look at these uh, drive cups. Again, these are 4140 uh, tool steel. Uh, they're hardened, you know, all the way through. A little bit harder than the stock ones. Um, a much harder steel. Um, I mean, these are just uh, really uh, beautiful drive cups. And just a uh, you know, quick recommendation: when you uh, put these grub screws in, I would I would uh, take it out and clean it really good with either you know just a standard brake uh, you know brake cleaner and uh, or, or even alcohol and just really you know uh, clean that grub screw then use red loctite to uh, lock that sucker in just to make sure it doesn't come off the uh, off the uh, pinion shaft um you know this is an example of the stock ones a little bit better example of some of the the bad ones that i have 
uh, you know, over time they do, they will pit out really bad, just like that. I mean, this one's, uh, this one's pretty gnarled up. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this one's almost even worse. And they, you know, they're actually stretched out a little bit, uh, pitted out, and then sometimes they even break, or they'll break right here where the pin goes, which this one, you can actually see a busted pin inside, a uh, busted pin inside here. But sometimes the actual shaft will, will bust uh, as well, so. Um, hopefully these are going to stop that. Um, you know they'll have a lot, you know, a lot longer wear time. Um, you know this is what some of the some of the big league racers use, uh, like with Mugen and stuff like that. They they use these uh, these drive cups. Um, so hopefully those are going to uh, you know uh, really hold up. Um, I've put about five packs through this truck uh, on and off camera, and um, you know she's a little bit dirty. Haven't had a chance to clean her up yet, really. Um, but these cups are showing uh, next to you know next to no wear whatsoever. I mean, they're still like the finish is, is still on them. <laughs> so, I mean, these are, so it looks like these are going to hold up pretty good. Um, so uh, definitely be looking, looking forward to, you know, to that. So, and uh, real quick, uh, I like to use these uh, just to kind of just, just a little tip. You know, if you have issues with your sway bar, um, you know, especially, you know, bashing hard, uh, the, the little sway bar cover right here tends to pop off or just get, or, you know, the little uh, a lip right here that the screw goes down into gets, you know, gets wore out. You know, your sway bar gets a lot of play in it, you know, which will cause, you know, some bad handling in your truck. So, I, so I like to use these little hot racing uh, uh, sway bar covers right here. I mean, I mean, these are just, uh, you know, it's really nice little upgrades. Uh, part number AON311M01. Um, it's just, you know, I mean, a real cheap, you know, for for two. I mean, just to, just to keep that sway bar on, so. Nice little option. Um, but anyway, this, this Outcast did absolutely killer. Uh, nothing broke on it. I mean, it was just, I mean, it was definitely taking a beating that, you know, the drive cups did, did very well. And um, so hopefully we'll, we'll better, we'll better, you know, get her out again soon for some more testing. Um, I'm gonna be installing these on a, on a couple more trucks, probably the Italian and the Creighton, just to get a little bit longer, uh, you know, a wear test on them. And uh, we'll go from there. But anyway, all right guys, we'll see you guys next time. RCD81, peace out.